And now a story so beautiful, it belongs in a gallery. The MIT Technology Review, where smart people write about smart things, they ran an article called The Hipster Effect, Why Anti-Conformists Always End Up Looking the Same. It was based on a study that suggests when people try to be different from the crowd, they end up looking alike, huh? And the article showed a stock photo of a guy with a beard, wearing a wool hat, flannel shirt. You know the hipster look. But then a man threatened to sue the review for using this picture as that hipster. He called it slander because that was him. So the editor calls the stock photo company, making sure this guy had signed all the proper releases, which you have to do to make it legal. Turns out the model in the photo had a different name, and it wasn't the guy. You follow? It was someone else. In other words, that guy who claimed to be in the photo capturing the essence of a hipster for an article about hipsters, how they conform and dress and groom the same, couldn't tell the difference between a hipster and himself. He's an idiot! That was hard. Anyway, well done. I've been there. You know, sometimes I look at this and I think it's me. <laughs> Yes, we're like twins, Heather. It's amazing how the idiot approved the article's point. They're just followers, conformists. Well, why did MIT do a study on this? What's wrong with the world? I, I did a paper on college on stagflation and got a B minus, but something like this, I think I would get like an A plus. Not because I'm a hipster, but yeah. why? That makes no sense. Is stagflation when you're at a bachelor party and you're trying to inflate a doll? Yes. Stagflation. Say yes. Yes. That was a really good joke, and I don't care. I don't care about anybody anymore, Kyrus. You know what bothers me about hipsters is how they have to believe that nothing is worth trying hard for. It's, it's not how they dress. It's the, it's the ironic attitude. Nothing, they, they can spend four hours talking about an Arcade Fire album, but they can't call their mom. Well, I think the whole point is they don't have to call their mom because she's usually 10 feet from them. <laughs> Very good. Nicely done. Right here, baby, doing a great job. You know what, Greg? Get off the hipsters. You know how hard it is to wear a sweater, a hat, and a, and a <laughs> flannel shirt in the middle of summer? That's true. Like, I mean, you can point to find these guys anywhere. Cat in a previous life, you could really find them. But these dudes, <laughs> sure you, you could always find them wearing a damn beanie in the summertime because they're just so against it. Like, yeah. who, who's against being cooled off? Yeah. Like, you know, change your hat, Briz. But they, it's funny, they all dress the same. They, they all wear... Like a pa like paper towels. They wiped their tears after Hillary Clinton lost the election, and then they looked at a brawny wrapper and were like, oh, let's all look like that. Yes. <laughs> but sadder and paper towel. The brawny guy worked out. He's kind of jacked, so, you know. Brawny worked out. You got a lot of beards, like Rob. Um, I like the fact that we've always known this, that every, yeah. it, when everybody tries to be edgy, they just end up doing exactly the same thing. Yeah, it's like when you say, like, I don't want to have a dress code, and then you end up having a dress code. Yes. You always do that. Mm -hmm. The problem is that and look, look, if you're young and you want to dress like a hipster, that's fine by me. The problem is that when you're starting to, like, get past that age where really you should uh, be looking like that. Board like, shorts after 40. Exactly right. Or, like, the, or like there's a little too much uh, you yeah. know, salt in the, in the pepper yes. of the beard. Not a good look. Like, you don't, you know, you got to know when to hang it up. That pocket chain. What's that pocket chain? Whenever you see you that. that? Yeah. Yes, I don't like that. Or, like, sometimes you see, like, uh, <laughs> old dudes... Not saying me, but old dudes, old. and the old. and the jeans are like skinny jeans. Yes, like, yes. Um, that's not you, that's not healthy. Yeah. Cat, I'm sure you have strong opinions about hipsters. Yeah, hipsters are the worst. Like with their like thick rimmed glasses, and like they're being all skinny, <laughs> and like they're being all sad. Yes, and, like they're vaping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh. I'm a hamster! You are! I'm a hamster, but do you, you guys like, like my glasses? Do you like them? Guess what? I don't need them to see. <laughs> That's right. Take them off! I don't, need them to, I don't need them to see. I wear them because I think they make me look cool. But you know what? America, this is my face! Oh. I've had it. This is my face! This is what it looks like! Now everybody probably thinks I look like an wait, idiot. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. hold on, watch this. I'll, I'll never get another chance. Girl! Girl, you want to ask about the stock market. <laughs>
You know, uh, if Cavuto's watching, he's canceling all the appearances. Wait, I thought those well, glasses were real. Like, you know, while you're, can I just try them on one time just to see what it's like? I want to look like a stock market guy. These are now, my career. I, I know. <laughs> As streetwise thug. Streetwise thug? Stock market. <laughs> away from magic glasses years ago they, 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 didn't work. they didn't work at all but you, but you remember old tv shows usually the the girl would walk on like the love boat and she'd be wearing glasses, glasses. like she's so ugly and then and then someone say wait a minute let me take them oh my god you're beautiful yeah. things have changed yeah. it was, it was yeah, like the lab assistant my god it's cheryl teagues yes i yeah, had no like, idea oh, i yeah. put the glasses on and she had a british accent i put the glasses yeah. on and then i make this face hold on let me <laughs> there you go <laughs> Kennedy? All right. <laughs> Up next, what do you do when you can join three Taco Bell Chalupas? You guys are smart. You can finish that joke. <laughs>